Hi everyone, Coding Heaven here. Okay, so uh, apologies for the long wait. Uh, I was in finals, so it's been it's been a, it's been a while. I haven't posted a video, but you know what? I'm here now. Let's start. Let's get started. So instead of doing snake, uh, someone asked me on Instagram to um, to make a main menu for Pong, which was a really good idea. So that's what I wanted to do. So uh, this is the main menu. It's gonna look something like this. It's very very simple. So like basically quit play with the game in the background because when the game is in the background it looks really good so quit play and like when you quit it actually quits so it's just on the exits and when you, you can start playing which is super cool okay that's the main menu let's get started okay we're here in eclipse let's we'll start brainstorming before we start coding okay so we want a main menu what does that entail okay so if we want a main menu we want a class called main menu and in that class called main menu we want to be able to to detect when the mouse clicks on either two buttons quit or play so detect when the mouse clicks on either two buttons click or uh, quit or play and both buttons quit and play are drawn and I'll be drawing them using the uh, rectangle object and I'll be uh, just displaying text in that rectangle and I'll be highlighting it every time the mouse moves on it. So we, what we want to do is detect when the mouse clicks and moves. Okay, so let's start doing that. That's not very complicated, trust me. So of course, what we were saying, create a class called main menu. And main menu, like I said, we want to detect when the mouse moves or clicks so of course what we want to do is we want to extend mouse adapter we can in fact uh, control shift O to import mouse adapter we can uh, implement the mouse listener interface but the thing is with the mouse listener interface you're gonna have to override every single method which is really annoying because then we're gonna have a bunch of empty methods so we're gonna extend the mouse adapter uh, first thing we want, we have to have a boolean that says if the game, if the main menu is active or not. If the game is active or the main menu is active. Done. Now we want to create our two buttons. So like, so uh, button one and button two. Button play. So for the button play, we're going to create the rectangle object, the string that says play that we're going to draw inside the rectangle and the boolean that says that it's highlighted so when the mouse hovers over it we can highlight it control shift o, control shift o to import rectangle okay uh that is p highlight uh, oh oh crap oh, that's a uh, that's awkward boolean there you go Okay, now that, okay, so now let's do the same exact thing for button number two. So let's copy paste for button two, control shift F to format, and we're going to call the button two, guess it, quit button. And the text that says quit is going to be quit text with quit there and Q highlight instead of P highlight. Perfect. Now what we also want is a font. Great, Control shift o to import font, imported. Okay, now in the main menu, this is, this is what is, this is the constructor. The constructor is called when you initialize the object. So let's initialize it. Well, first of all, let's create the variable. After creating the variable, we want to be able to, we want to be able to detect the listener, the, the, the mouse moving and the mouse, the mouse moving and the mouse clicking. So this dot add mouse listener menu. Also this dot add mouse motion listener menu. And of course we can't do this without initializing menu. So let's go and initialize down here. Oh, and we also forgot to put 
game game here so that fixes our problem in the main menu let's take off ball and paddle and key inputs because that, that won't be changing at all window oh yeah and also in the because we're gonna start in the main menu here we're gonna say of course this is what's called at the first so we're gonna say of course the main menu is active at first so active and then after active goes true we're gonna do game dot start and since we're starting the game here in the main menu when it starts when the gate when like the when we run the program in window we can take game dot start off and that's the end for window we don't need to use window anymore okay now let's initial let's create our buttons how are we going to create our buttons we want to center it on the screen how do we center it on the screen that's another good question so we want to create let's start by creating int width and height of course x y 2 so width i want it to be 300 i want the height to be half the width so 150 um i want of course when you the y the y is the same thing for both uh buttons so we're just going to create it right away it's going to be centered hor uh, vertically in the screen so the the um the formula for that is this um and for x we want the play button to be centered on the left half of the screen and the quit button to be centered on the right half of the screen so let's start with the left half of the screen how do we center something in the left half of the screen so we center it at one quarter through the screen and then because since a rectangle is uh, the x y position is the top right corner so we center the top right corner at a quarter of the screen exactly and then we subtract half of that rectangle half of the width of that rectangle to arrive exactly centered i'll be showing a diagram on the screen um, of exactly what i mean so this and then we're going to initialize the button and we're going to do the same thing for the other button the quit button so change this to quit and instead of um Instead of being centered at one quarter, it's going to be centered at three quarters of the screen. So we're just going to multiply by three quarters minus two divided by two. And last thing we're going to do in this is going to initialize the fonts to be Roboto, Plain, and Size 100. Okay, that's done. Now let's get into drawing it. So the first thing we're going to draw, well, of course, we're going to create the function draw graphics to graphics uh, G in as a parameter control shift O to input graphics perfect okay so now let's uh, first thing we want to do is we want to set the font draw the buttons and draw the outline of the buttons set the font G dot set font font that's done now we want to draw the the fill of the buttons we want to fill the buttons inside the screen how we're going to do that is we're going to use the highlight boolean and with the highlight boolean we're going to see if we draw it in white if we fill it the the button in white or in black so the initial color is going to be black initial color is going to be is going to be black and if it's highlighted it's going to turn into white and it's going to draw the button and we're going to do the same exact thing for the quit button if Q highlight now there's a problem here and the problem is it should be pretty clear to you so right now we are trying to fill with the graphics objects a rectangle that needs the graphics 2d class so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cast the G uh, graphics 2d sorry we're gonna cast the G into graphics uh, 2d we're going to control shift o for graphics 2d and we're going to cast it eclipse thank god eclipse does it for us that's fantastic now now we're going to draw the outlines of the buttons in white perfect um let's run this let's see if uh, let's see if it actually works nope nope it doesn't work at all and we have an error now this error is quite common and the, the error causes that the, the reason the error is 
is thrown, the exception is thrown, is that if you draw, if you try to draw, if you try to like extract b the buffer strategies out of a canvas that is not yet packed into a window, you're going to get a problem. And remember that we we start the game when we call the constructor of main menu, which is called an initialize, which is called before the new window. So what we have to do is put it down here. Now, okay, now, uh, of course, we also need to call the draw. What I'm going to do is this. If menu.active, then we draw. Perfect, we have the two buttons there. Yay, okay. Also, um, and also in here, what we have to do is if not menu dot active, so it doesn't start, um, it doesn't start uh, like updating the screen when the menu is not active. And to fix the the indentations, you do Control Shift F for auto format. Perfect. Now we have this all set. Let's go back into the main menu and create the override methods. So. First, let's create the mouse click method, then the mouse move method. Okay, now we have both methods. In the mouse clicked, I want to extract the X and Y position of the mouse, see if it's inside the button, and do what we have to do when, like, when we click the button. So let's extract the, um, the position of the, of the mouse with the point class. And let's do the if statements to be to make sure that that the, they're inside the um, that the the point is inside the buttons. The function we're gonna use is contains, and then the point is p. So if the button contains the point p, which is x y coordinates, we um, we're going to we're going to active equals false. We're going to close the main menu. Else if the quit button contains the point P, we're going to exit. The parameter of oh, system, sorry. Okay, next. Uh, so we want mouse moved. Why do we want to know the mouse moved? We want to know if the mouse is inside the button to highlight it. And that's pretty simple. All you need to do is write P highlight. Uh, did I write it properly? P highlight is a boolean. Okay, P highlight. Forgot to put. The, I forgot to initialize the point. Okay, now let's do the exact same thing for the quit button. If the play button contains the point, we highlight the play button. So this is a boolean. This returns a boolean. And I'm guessing you can like understand what happens afterwards. Let's test that out. Works. Bet. Okay. That's perfect. Now let's move on to the hardest part of the the drawing. Is the drawing the text. Now, <laughs> drawing text shouldn't be hard. But it's hard with Java. For some reason, it's hard with Java. So we have to, to be able to center... To be able to center the string of playing quit inside the button, we need to extract the height and the width of the button. For some damn reason, you need to do this with Java with a weird function and it's actually really annoying. So I'm just going to copy paste it. Get font metrics, put the font, dot string width, and give the give the text that you want to do. And this is for the, this is, we're going to start with, um, with the play button, with the play button. Same thing for height, get font metrics get height. You don't need to specify the text. So what we're going to do, uh, I want it to be, I want it to be green. Uh, also, I'm also going to copy paste the drawing. So the drawing is, is, the drawing looks like this, basically. So you give in the string that you want to draw, of course, and you draw it centered inside the rectangle. So you get the exposition of the rectangle. And remember that text is drawn by the bottom left, but the bottom left corner, not the top left corner like a rectangle. So the bottom left corner. 
So you take the x, you add half the width of the button, and then you subtract half the width of the string so that centers it perfectly. Let's test that out. Perfect, centered perfectly. Let's redo this with the, I mean, of course, the, the quit text. Let's go up here, copy paste quit text, quit text. That should, and I want it to be red. That should be good, isn't it? Yeah, that should be, that should be it. Yeah, we're done. Ladies and gentlemen, we are done. Play, we're gonna start playing. Uh, I'm, I'm horrible at this game. And if we quit, we quit. Perfect. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope this was a really interesting tutorial. If you liked it, like, like the video, like the video and um, and if you actually like my YouTube channel, consider subscribing and also consider following me on all my social media like Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all of those things. I have them all linked in the description. Uh, feel free to watch any other of my playlists. My playlists, they're super interesting. I have, I have a bunch of mathematical algorithms already set. I have the next game I'm going to be working on a snake. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.